What's up, YouTube? It's the Sports Star back with another video on the channel, and today we are doing your Bills full 2023-2024 season preview, and is this the year of Josh Allen? So last year, the Buffalo Bills got first in the AFC East. Of course, led by their stars on the offense, Josh Allen and Stephon Diggs. And in the 2022 to 2023 season, they ended up getting 13 wins and three losses. And they ended the regular season with a seven game win streak. And they went into the wild card game against the Dolphins. And they beat the Dolphins 34 to 31 in the playoffs. And then they headed into the divisional round against the Bengals and lost 27 10. It was a tough game. But in the long run, this offseason, they did improve. So let's check out the moves they did make this offseason. So although there weren't very many big offseason moves, they did manage to retain Jordan Poyer. And they also signed a back to go along with James Cook and Damian Harris, who the year prior had an, a breakout season. In fact, last year he was hurt. So, Patriots ultimately this offseason moved on from him and he signed with the Bills. And then the draft happened. And going into the draft, the Bills didn't have that many needs. To be fair, their biggest need was tied in, but they still had Docs and Knox, who ended up making the Pro Bowl this previous year, but still was not the clear cut number one. So, in the first round, the Bills traded up to pick 25 to get Dalton Kincaid and although he might not have been the most talented tight end in college he did have one of the biggest upsides and the Bills owner did in fact want him so bad that he traded up for him and that's saying something second round they ended up going guard Osiris Tor Torrance getting that offensive line built and then the third round they went Doran Williams the linebacker Fifth round, they went with wide receiver help for Josh Allen and Justin Shorter, getting that second or third string receiver, helping him out there. In the seventh round, they went with Nick Brokier, the guard. And in the seventh round, they went Alex Austin, the cornerback. So, so far, overall, pretty solid draft for the Bills. I think I gave it like an A in the draft grades. So now that we have that all out of the way, let's take a look at the offense and defense. Obviously at quarterback, you have Josh Allen, backup is Kyle Allen and Matt Barkley. Starting running back, I believe should go to Damian Harris, but James Cook will probably be the third down back along with Naeem Himes, who is more of the third down back more than James Cook. I think that James Cook and Damian Harris will split first running back carries so we'll have to see on that looking at wide receivers you obviously have your wide receiver one in Stefan Diggs your wide receiver two in Gabe Davis and at tight end you have Dawson Knox and Dalton Kincaid so you're giving Josh Allen everything he needs to succeed and with all of those he will and it's almost a guarantee at this point point. and obviously you have your edge rushers nailed down with AJ Espinessa Shaq Lawson, Gregory Rousseau, Boogie Basham. So you have a pretty good depth at that position. Uh, position. DT, you have Declan Jones at Oliver. Linebacker, you have Von Miller. Although he is aging, he's still putting up productive numbers. And finally, in your secondary, you have Kyir Aleem, Damar Hamlin, Micah Hyde, Jordan Poyer, Taylor, Tyler Rapp, Tredavious White. And so with this defense, you're not really worried. I think you already have a top five defense in the league. And so at in the, during the draft and free agency, you just had to add depth. And I think that's what they did very well. Obviously, at kicker, you have Taylor Bass, Sam Martin at punter, and long snapper Reed Ferguson. But overall, a very solid offseason, very solid roster. You're not worried going into the season. Josh Allen just found out today he's the cover athlete. And um, yeah, Bills have, well, the sky's the limit for them. And I have them going 13-3 and three again. And I think that they will end up tying with the Jets for first in their division this year. 
But luckily for you, you guys have the brighter future than the Jets, and I think ultimately you guys will do better in the playoffs. So yeah, that's the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you are new, please consider subscribing. If you are new, please hit that notification bell so you can be updated on all the new videos that we post. And yeah, thanks for watching. Peace out, everyone.